Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I have a collective message. We're going to find out what Fru wants you to hear. Please remember this may not resonate for everyone. So let's get straight into this and find out what Fru wants you to know. Okay, whoever I'm speaking to today, you seem to be a very powerful manifester. Now, you may not even realize this, but whatever you put your mind to, you seem to obtain it, right? You seem to have a very strong desire for whatever you want in life, you strongly desire it, okay? You also have this energy of you kind of doing anything to get it, right? You have a very strong belief in yourself as well that you're basically able to manifest what you want or get what you want, okay? You're very determined, okay? I also see this is a very powerful energy. Now, for some of you, you may not realise this, right? But this is something that you would notice, that whatever you do put your mind to, you will eventually receive it, right? Now, at the moment, there's an energy of whatever you do put your mind to, things are happening very quickly, okay? There's a very fast energy, right? Now, whoever I'm speaking to, you're a very passionate person. You also... There's this energy to you, it's like you're very intelligent, okay, you're a problem solver, right? You also are very intuitive, okay, and you may, it's like you always know the answer, right? People trust you to like always, for example, people may actually come to you for advice, okay, because they feel like you always have the answer or you always give the best advice or you always know what to do, right? Then strong fire energy here, okay, so you could be a fire sign or have heavy fire in your chart. You don't have to, but there is a uh, heavy fire here. There's also Scorpio energy here, strong Scorpio as well, right? Now, there's a very divine energy at the moment. Things are happening very quickly. So, be very mindful on what you're thinking, okay, on what you're manifesting, right? Do not entertain any drama or any negative thought, right, at the moment because things seem to be manifesting very quickly okay I do see something about career as well right for some of you you are destined to do something here for some of you you have a natural ability to make people laugh to make people happy to basically uplift people's spirit right you have this natural ability to do that you may not even realise, but for some of you, you're supposed to be doing that for a living. Maybe you are supposed to be a comedian or something like that, or maybe that's what you want to do, right? Or for others, you may want to start some type of YouTube channel or podcast. Um, I'm definitely getting this energy of you just speaking, right? really uplift people, right? I'm also getting that you're very intelligent, right? You also seem to have this energy where, as I said before, you're like a problem solver. People love to hear your take on things, okay? 
you have very good advice as well because you're able to look at situations and really analyze them and you quickly find solutions for things but you're also very intuitive right so there is this energy of for some of you just speaking right people just want to hear you speak or for some of you you could turn or you're supposed to turn this speaking this kind of uplifting people right for some of you you may be a public speaker or you're supposed to be doing this as a living okay for some of you as well you're supposed to be in the public eye like you are destined to be in the public eye or just a leader of some type people looking up to you and you speaking to like a group of people right for some of you as well, you may not even, it may be a desire, but you may not be working towards that. But as I said before, you are a powerful manifester. Whatever you put your mind to eventually will happen, right? For some of, some of you as well, you may have been very focused on manifesting love, okay, or manifesting small things. But I do see that at the moment it's important to look at your career because as I said, whoever I'm speaking to, you're supposed to be doing something as a career that involves making people laugh or it involves just speaking or giving advice, right? There's this, I keep hearing brilliant, okay? so. People may say that to you a lot, okay, that you're brilliant, okay, or that's just the energy that you have, right? Just a brilliant energy. People find you to be very insightful. People find you to be very intelligent. People just love to hear you talk, right? And for some of you, this is something, again, that you're supposed to be doing as a career, it's Something to do with speaking. Something to do with your words really just uplift people. For some of you as well, if it's not that, I'm getting something about being a model or I am getting a very attractive vibe, okay? Um, also a very unique look, right? It's like you have this very unique look to you where people are just drawn to you, people are just attracted to you, but people are really attracted to your personality as well. Right now, you're attracting people that are going to help you in a career sense, okay? Now, even if you do not have any plans on starting a career or doing whatever this is for a living, I do see that you're about to meet somebody that's going to help you, right? This person, they have experience, okay? Again, whatever this is, this is definitely career-based, right? But I, it's going to be different for everyone, okay? If this is resonating, it's going to be different. So some of you may meet somebody that's going to help you. Basically, you're going to help uh, meet somebody that's going to help you into this is something that you're not really expecting either i'm hearing gabriel gabriel right let me know if that resonates this is something that you're not expecting but you're going to meet somebody that seems a lot in you they see how brilliant you are how charming you are okay they see your potential and they are going to help you. This person is very powerful. Whoever they are, they're very powerful for some of you. They're two people, right? Two connections that you're going to meet. And one of them could be career-based and the other one could have something to do with... It could be a connection, a friend or something. But I do see especially one person that sees a lot of potential in you. They're very powerful, okay? And they're going to offer you an opportunity. It's career-based. 
it also brings a lot of money, right? Now, this is unexpected, but this is something that you're supposed to be doing in this lifetime. It feels like this person's going to lead you to your sole purpose, okay? Especially if that's something that you've been manifesting. But again, whatever you're manifesting at the moment, the energy is kind of happening instantly. So you've got to make sure that your thoughts, a very positive, okay, don't entertain any negativity at the moment. Okay, so for some of you, um, you actually may have been doubting your manifesting ability for a little bit because I do see that you were trying to manifest a connection and the connection may not have come in. Um, now, why this connection didn't come in is because the person that you were trying to manifest, they were not good for you. Now, I mean not good for you. You can manifest anything, right? But this person in particular, they were very immature, okay, this person would have really hurt you, this is a path that spirit did not want you to go down, okay, um, this feels like somebody that's kind of unstable, um, they make decisions without thinking, they do things that, they're not very rational, okay, this person feels like they're not very stable, right? That's why this didn't manifest. Um, again, this not manifesting is literally a blessing in disguise and you may not understand that. But again, you may have kind of given up on your manifesting or you may have stepped away from manifesting um, or that could have created some type of doubt, right? Right now, spirit wants you to focus on other things, your career, on your self-concept, okay, on other things, not this one person that you were trying to manifest, because this one person that you are trying to manifest, um, again, this person was not good for you, right? You could be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio. Yeah, so, again, you may have been trying, for some of you, this could have been a divine counterpart that you were trying to manifest, right? And if that's the case, if this person is a divine counterpart that you were trying to manifest, um, this person was ignoring the lessons, okay? There's lessons that this person needed to go through, there's healing that this person needed to go through, this person ignored that, they refused to change their ways, right? So, this never happened, right? If it is, and I've just seen 1333. Now, if this is a divine counterpart, um, you know, you can definitely manifest anything, but with the divine counterpart, right, there is lessons that need to be learned. There is healing that needs to be done before the union can manifest. Um, this person... They chose not to do the healing. They chose to ignore all the signs. Um, this didn't manifest for a reason. Now, if this is not a divine counterpart, this person is actually unstable and could have even been dangerous to your safety, okay, or well-being, okay. That person was not the right person for you. And again, this not manifesting. Especially because whoever I'm speaking to, you're a master manifester, you're a powerful manifester. As I said before, whether you know this or not, you whatever you put your mind to, you will end up getting. Right? The fact that you did not get this person, that speaks volumes as to how much that is a blessing in disguise. Now, I do see that it may have discouraged you a little bit, right? 
But again, Spirit want you to really focus on career at the moment, okay? Focus on your finance and focus on your self-love, okay? Whatever else you want. This person's not for you, right? But you may have felt stuck for a little bit because of that. You may have been doubting your manifesting skills. Again, this person that you're trying to manifest, again, this is not for you, right? This was a path you were trying to manifest a path that was not for you. You there's something better for you. I mean, you are a very powerful manifester. You could have anything in this world. You could the thing is with this, this was not good for you, right? For some of you, this could have been a trauma bond, right? You may have even thought that this was a divine counterpart and this was actually a trauma bond. That's why this did not manifest. Because it's not... Whoever I'm speaking to, you have so much potential. You have a soul mission that you are supposed to fulfill. You are supposed to uplift people, right? If you were to manifest this person, um, you would have gone down the wrong path. And you've done way too much healing right, and you've done way too much, you are somebody that's very gifted, very talented, you can go very far with this that you're trying to manifest, I mean, you can do a lot better than that, plus this one's going to take you down the wrong path, again, you may have had a lot of love for this situation, um, for some of you, again, this is a trauma bond, right, and, or it, could have been a trauma bond. I do think that there's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of confusion um, between this connection, right? And I do see that you may have worked really hard on trying to make that connection work and it never worked. Um, but again, right now, it's very important to stay focused on manifesting your career because there are very important people coming into your life that are going to help you they're going to help you go places that you don't even expect, right? It's very important to trust the universe with this, right? Forget this person. I don't know what this person did, but this person feels like they have done something that has ruined all their chances here, like, ruined all of their chances, like, they don't, they ruined their chance here with you, this could have been a divine counterpart that did something here, they may have betrayed you, but basically, they've ruined their chances here with you, this person, it feels like they're not even the person that you think that they are, you could have created some type of fantasy, right? This person's not who you think they are. They're actually quite opposite, right? Yeah, for some of you, um, this person that you were trying to manifest, there's this energy of you kind of feeling like you can tame them or you can fix them or you need to fix them or you need to help them, heal them, whatever it was, right? you don't need to, this person, they're not who you think you are, okay, you don't need to heal them, you don't need to fix them, because that's not your job, right, your job, you have bigger things happening for you, right, but I do see that you've been focused on trying to manifest this person, or trying to, very focused on this person, this person that is not who you think they are, right, you are looking at them through the rose tinted glasses, you're sugarcoating them a little bit, okay, and there is this energy where you do see their flaws, but you've sugarcoated their flaws and you think that you can fix them, when again, that's not your job, okay, you are destined to do so much more, you are somebody that's worth a lot, you are somebody that does change lives, okay? 
whoever you're dealing with here though they do not deserve your energy you're destined for so much more than this person right your skills your manifesting skills there's nothing wrong with them because i do see that whoever i'm speaking to you feel like because you can't manifest this one person that your manifesting skills are not working or something that's not the case it's this person they're not for you okay they're not they're not in the right mindset okay they're not good for you they're not even good for themselves they're making all the wrong choices right so at the moment it's very important for you to manifest your career you are about to come into contact with people that are going to help you go very far right and you may not even expect it you may feel like that you don't have the experience or something but these people you don't need the experience these people see something in you and you're coming into contact with very powerful people right so that's all I have for you. If it resonated, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next reading.